Millennials, those Harry Potter loving motherfuckers are ruining everything according to the media. And what is a millennial? According to the mainstream media, it's an entitled generation who doesn't want to work or pay for anything. Which means you, because if you're watching this, then you're not working and I don't see any extra money in my account. When Sony was developing the objectively terrible The Amazing Spider-Man 2, they had a millennial expert tell them dumb, vague shit about young adults. So now that Sony and Marvel work together, could this attitude have bled into Marvel's newest superhero property based on the creative mind jizz of Steve Ditko and Stan Lee? Let's scrub up and find out. I recently stayed awake through Doctor Strange, the 14th superhero movie to be released in the Marvel Universe so far. If you haven't seen it but you have seen Iron Man, then you're fine. It's about a brilliant but arrogant man who after being humbled through violence is fixed thanks to the science, magic of someone else. Arrogant is the most used word in promotional material to describe Doctor Strange and is often used to describe people born after 1980 but before 9-11. I never really got a sense of why I was meant to care about Stephen Strange. Over and over again he's given access to powers and equipment that he has no right to. They simply exist for him to take them because he wants them. He's basically the British Museum if it were a person. And this can't be an accident. Too many people are involved in the making of a film for someone not to go, uh, has anyone noticed that we're making a film about an entitled asshole? But if Hollywood thinks that millennials are entitled assholes, it would make sense, right? So since millennials have no attention span and can only consume information in listicle form, get ready to count down Top 5 Reasons Why Doctor Strange is a Millennial. Doctor Strange is humbled because he's so confident in his driving ability, he checks his phone while driving like he's in a Werner Herzog documentary. Like many millennials, he's being sent pictures of the inside of someone, probably without their consent. The dude can grow a beard pretty well, so why does he pick facial hair that looks like a complicated game of Snake on a Nokia 6110? He's going to be shaving and tweezing every morning, and let's not forget all of his unnecessary piercings. So they're not dating, but he wears the watch where she says she loves him, but they also don't seem to like each other. I don't get it. Pick a Facebook update and stick to it, like me! If he's not making backup copies of ancient spells with his photographic memory, he's torrenting old spell files after they've been taken off the official servers. Yoink! He's super entitled. If he's not barging in demanding to be given magic powers in return for nothing, he's picking up amulets and messing around with them, stealing books and just getting by on his photographic memory. That's right, he doesn't study anything, he just keeps looking up the screenshots of his mind. It's like if you took an exam and they were like, okay guys, no talking, but you are allowed to check Google. Does he actually achieve anything that's not been gifted to him? He's got a photographic memory which seems to be where most of his medical and magical skills come from, he's argumentative, arrogant, and mostly gets to where he is because the people who worked hard to become magicians have been killed. He's saved over and over again not because of anything he's done, but because of his failures. He ignores rules, steals property, gets babysat for no reason other than he's there, and in the end he doesn't win, he just has more patience than his opponent. Superheroes have always been a form of power fantasy, and if instead of working hard to protect what is right, Doctor Strange posits a heroism based on looking after yourself and taking what you want when you see it. And if that doesn't match the definition of a millennial, well then I guess the media has broadly stereotyped a generation to make it appear they've special insight into the habits and opinions of a generation so as to bolster the giant holds on the collective consciousness of the population. I mean, one or the other. Tune in next week where we'll be looking at superhero movies in general and how it relates to another generation. Thank you for listening.